don't fake it. We just take it. Hey, nerds. Yes, same shirt. Know what you're thinking? He must be out of super cool shirts to wear. Wrong. It's just late, I'm tired and sunburnt, and I just want to get this video over with, so I didn't have time to play costume change with you guys. But let's focus on the important stuff. The fourth con video. This one is interpreting points relative to a system. Ah, which is a lot of mumbo jumbo, which means they're gonna give you a system of equation in the form of a graph, and they're gonna put a specific point somewhere on there, and you're gonna have to say what it means in relation to the problem on the board, or the exact example, or I'm rambling. All right, so before I describe what's on this board behind me with the awful glare and the worst place possible, uh, let me show you an example of what it's gonna look like on con, and then we'll discuss this. I know it wasn't enough time for you to read all that, but I'll explain what it says in a second. I also got rid of the glare and replaced it with a nice shout out. So there it is. All right, all those words that you didn't have enough time to read was explaining this. There's an online library. You have two options if you want to join. Uh, there's two subscription fees. One is that you pay $96 a year flat rate and you can rent as many books as you'd like. And that's this darker blue line right here. So if you rent zero books or 70 books, it costs you $96 no matter what, all right? The other option is a per book uh, subscription where it's $3 for every single book that you rent. So that's this one, y equals 3x, so it has a slope of three because every book is $3 more. Um, so this is our system of equations. And what we need to figure out is what this point R that they gave us is. Now, as you can tell, we know it's our solution to the system, meaning that that is the point that both are exactly equal, the same value. And with some basic math, we know that's 32 books. But that's not what it's gonna be asking. It's gonna give us some word uh, options that look like this. Well, what's this graph really talking about? It is comparing books to dollars, right? And we have a subscription where we have different varying amounts of how much it would cost. We have the annual fee option where it's $96 flat, and we have the per book option where it's $3 per book. So let's look at this line versus this line and see if we can figure out what this actually means, this R value. Now, if you rented 10 books, which option would be cheaper? You'd be here, which would be over here, which would be $30. Now, would it be cheaper to do the per, per book subscription or the annual fee subscription? The per book one, right? And it'd be cheaper all the way up until we hit this point. Going from there on, any book after that would be more expensive than doing the annual fee, right? Annual fee is always $96, but if you rent 50 books, that's going to bring you up to $150, right? So this is what the graph is comparing. This point R is the intersection of the two, which means what? It means it's the same point, it's the same value. So this would be the point where your subscriptions would be exactly the same, which is, I don't know, you tell me. Just like I said in the last video, this section is going to be hard also. Some of the questions are really confusing at first, and you need to play around with them a little bit before they start making it. You're going to have to get them wrong for them to make sense. You're going to have to see what the correct answer was and why, and then go through maybe a second time. Also, I have office hours and remind, so use me. That's what I'm here for. I want to help. All right. Love you, miss ya. Love you, miss ya.